Welcome to video 9, where we'll look at how to configure paging on your Yaystar S-Series phone system. Hi, I'm Dar Zook with the Helia Technology Report, and today we're going to have a look at paging. This is video 9 in a series, uh, and we're going to have a look at uh, four different types of uh, paging or intercom uh, with the A-Star S-Series phone system. The first one we're going to look at is one-way uh, paging to a group. And so uh, that means that from one phone you press a, a page button and you can make an announcement across of uh, all the phones and other devices on the phone system. The second way is a two-way intercom and it's very similar except that when you page out people can speak back to you as well. So that's a two-way intercom. There's also a one-way multicast page, and this is uh, used when we're paging out to a, a, a lot of different devices. It uh, has less impact on, on the network. And then the last way is, is to make an announcement directly to a specific extension or a specific user. So there's four different ways we're going to have a look at that. But before we do, uh, let me mention our classroom training that we do. If you do prefer classroom training over uh, uh, going through YouTube or manual, we do offer classroom training here in Calgary. Find out more about our Calgary and Canada-wide training at heliavoice.ca. That's our website. Now, in addition to that, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, I pre appreciate your subscription. And when there are new videos released, uh, you'll get a notification of those. Last thing, uh, we have a coupon for our online store, all things VoIP. Uh, VoIP phones, uh, firewalls for VoIP. Uh, uh, solar panels for VoIP, just a, a, a wide, wide range of everything that we use to implement phone system. And you can find that at buyphonesonline.ca. There's a coupon at the end of this video, so keep your eye open for that. Now, without further ado, let's jump in and see what this is all about. Okay, so the first type of intercom we're going to look at is extension to extension intercom. Now, this is turned on by default with your Yaystar or S-Series phone system. And uh, what, how you do this is you dial star 5 and then the extension number. So I have a uh, cordless phone here. This is extension 1001. And then I've got a desk phone here, which is extension 1000. So I'm going to use my uh, handset here. I'm going to dial... Uh, star five one zero 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 and then wait for it to dial testing one two so you can see that it has uh, come through now the cordless phone this is a Yace, uh, Yay Link T 56p and it also supports uh, the intercom feature so we can go uh, star five one zero zero one And let's make sure I, I actually, oh, there we go. And so now we're uh, talking on the cordless phone. So that's the first method. Star 5 and the extension number will get you over there. Okay, so we're going to do the one too many intercom, and that's a that's a two way, so you can hear the other person that you're talking to. Now, this is a, a unique feature uh, on the Yaystar. We don't see this on too many other phone systems. So we're going to go to settings, and then we're going to go to call features, and then for call features, paging and intercom is up along the top, and we're going to add a uh, two way intercom here. So uh, extension. 6300 zero, zero, and this is going to be a one to many intercom. Okay, so I've got my uh, um, cordless here at extension 1001 and my desktop at 1000. So we're going to add those into the group. And then I have my other handheld at extension 1002. So we're going to create this group here. Uh, we'll apply it. And then I'm going to use my phone here and dial 6300. Zero, zero. 
Oh, I think I dialed the wrong number. Let's try that again. 6300. Testing. One, two. So you can see that it uh, picked up on both of the extensions there. That's how we set up one too many intercom. All right, so we're going to look at one-way paging next. And so we'll click on settings, and then we're gonna go over to uh, call control up along the top. Uh, I'm sorry, call features up along the top is paging and intercom, and we'll add a new one. Um, uh, paging intercom extension. Now, before we set this up, uh, I need to mention uh, one of the limitations here. Now, whether you're using the one-way paging or the two-way intercom, it's using the concurrent uh, call capacity of your S series. So I'm currently using an S50 and an S50 has a 25 concurrent call capacity. Now what that means is we can put a maximum of 25 extensions in here uh, and that is the maximum that we can uh, we can do. Now with the S100 you're up to 30, with the uh, S300 you're up to 60 concurrent calls and then you can add in the EX, um, uh, the DSP uh, card into those to bump up your call uh, concurrent call capacity. So with the S300 you can increase that up to 120 concurrent calls. Now with multicast paging which we'll have a look at in a moment, uh, the benefit is, is you don't use your concurrent call uh, license. You're only using one concurrent um, uh, call capacity for that. So uh, we're, let's set up our one-way paging. I'm going to put in here one-way paging and we're going to again uh, my cordless phone is extension 1001 and my desktop 1000. So let's add those in and save and apply and then I'm going to uh, use my cordless phone here to dial 6301. And you notice that on both of my phones uh, they've picked up and they can uh, hear the page that I'm doing. All right, so we're doing a one-way multicast page. So uh, same place, we go in here, uh, we go into our uh, call features, we're going to go into our paging and intercom, we're going to add a new uh, paging group, but this time we're going to do multicast. Now, uh, one, of, one of the reasons we want to do this is it doesn't use up the concurrent call licenses or call capacity of your S series. So in, in this case, this is a S50 and it's got a 25 um, uh, concurrent call license. Now, if I was doing the normal paging, it would be using up uh, if I had, for every person I paged out to, uh, so if I had 25 people I was paging out to, uh, it would use up all those licenses. Now, with me using a multicast, it's only using up one concurrent call license, so it makes it much, much better. Okay, so that's step number one. I've got assigned to this particular multicast. Now, I need to go into the phones as well. Uh, so this is the Yealink T27. Uh, I'm going to go over to... Uh, my settings, oh, one more, directory and multicast IP, and we need the, well, this is already added in here, the multicast IP, you can see the paging barge is at 10, we want to do that, the IP address, 224. Now, these multicast addresses are special, so you can't just make them up. They always start with a 224, this one's 224.0.1.116 port 6000, uh, and you can see that here. So, we're going to save this on the phone. Now, you could, if you have a lot of phones, you can put this into a provisioning file. Otherwise, you need to go to each and every one of your phones and add this multicast address in. Now that we have that, you can see that we have um, this particular 6302. So I'm going to go in here. You can see my phone. Here's my phone. And we're going to type in 6302 and dial. And testing one, two. So you can hear the multicast coming over there. 
so the benefits of multicast is it does not use your uh, concurrent channels. Uh, one of the drawbacks is it needs to be on one routed network. So if you have remote phones, it does not work with remote phones. Uh, so that was video nine, uh, how to configure paging on your Yaystar S-Series phone system. In video 10, we'll have a look at the Yaystar monitor mode and how to use it in a call center. Uh, video 10 can be found on our YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash Helia Canada. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, that means that as we add new videos, you'll get a notification. We really do appreciate uh, when you subscribe to our channel. Now, in addition, uh, we have a coupon for you at the end of this video at our online store, and please check that out. It's at www.buyphonesonline.ca. Now, without uh, further ado, uh, I'm Dar Zook with the Helio Technology Report. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.